let's imagine you're just kind of like reading a book, you're just hanging out in your room, and you see a spider crawl across the floor. Now, now most people would do their damnedest to very quickly try and kill this damn thing. Or perhaps you happen to notice like mice or rat droppings around the kitchen area, so you would rush to find the number four in exterminator to kill this thing and get it out of your house. But, but have we ever wondered why? Why is it so okay to, to kill small animals or insects or bugs? So growing up in a religious family, like when I was younger, I would you know, learn about the Ten Commandments, and then you know the, the thou shalt not kill would kind of come up. And there are countless children around the world who who have been perplexed by, you know, seemingly God-fearing parents who would like stomp out like what we would call pests with, with no remorse, no second thought at all. And at some point there's that, that awkward conversation where, where a child will ask their parent, well like, like why is that okay? And what, what many adults will do is say, well, well it's okay to kill some things, but, but what the scripture is talking about is it's, you're not supposed to kill people. Now, now ignoring the fact that, that no, that's that's not what it means. And, and what this conversation does for, for far too many people is that it, it sets the foundation of them feeling like it's, it's okay to kill living organisms that, that are less than human. Now, whether you believe that, that God has created all living things through, through his infinite wisdom and design, or whether you believe it's through the, the randomness of the universe that, that all living things that we see today have, have come to evolve, or perhaps you believe both. What we need to understand is that, that Everything that lives, everything that breathes, everything that crawls, everything that grows has, has purpose. It, they have value. They have intention. Now, unfortunately, that, that initial conversation about it's okay to kill some things but not people is it's the root of all the world's evils. Because people can, can take that principle of, you know, it, it, it's cool to kill some things as long as, as, long as it's not human. And... And what they can do is find convoluted ways of identifying actual people as less than human. When we, when we think about you know, Hitler's master race, or you know, those, those monkey and ape relatives that were shipped across the Atlantic on slave ships, or even today, the, the monsters who practice Islamic religions and are supposedly responsible for all the world's terrorism, these are just a few of the examples in history of where people have been thought of as, as inhumane. So let's, let's imagine again that you, you see that spider running across the floor and you just decide to ignore it for about 30 seconds or so and let it, let it go about the business of eating the smaller insects that are actually in your house. Or when you see those rat and mice droppings, you, you decide, to, hey, let's, let's stop leaving the food out. Let's clean up a bit more so that you won't have any food and it'll... It'll go elsewhere. Now just, just think about the, the humanity, the, the, the love, and the respect for life that this could inspire in our global community. Hey, so if you like what you saw, let me know. If you really like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe so you can see more. Now, if you didn't like what you saw, let me know that too. And if you have any pointers on how I can do better, I'd be more than happy to hear also, if you have any ideas or suggestions of different topics you'd like me to talk about, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. And as I said, one of my goals is to start, or in some cases continue, a conversation regarding a lot of the things that I discuss on my channel. Let's do that. Let's do that.